Hello there. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zach with Zach's Books. Today I've got for you three thriller books that have got really big twists in them, uh, according to what people have said about the books. Uh, I'm very excited with these because I have been wanting to read more thrillers lately so I can give some more recommendations on thrillers. And these are books that have said to have like really big plot twists in them. Um, some of them more than just one plot twist. So I'm very intrigued to see what happens. And uh, if you like videos like these, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me show you the books that are going to be coming up. Alright, the first book up is going to be The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Uh, he's actually got another book coming out this year that was on my upcoming 2021 releases. If you have not seen that video, check it up up here. It's a good video, some good books. Actually, to add note to that, there is actually a Stephen King book that was actually announced recently for August 3rd called Billy Summers. Uh, so Stephen King has got a second book coming out this year in August. I am also very excited for that, of course, because of Stephen King. Um, but yeah, back to this video. Uh, so yeah, this is The Silent Patient. This is about a girl who, like, uh, is accused of murdering some, like, I think her husband. And she, like, doesn't talk for a very long time. And somebody's trying to get her to finally talk. And I hear it's got a really exciting twist at the end. So yeah, I'm going to get into that uh, first. But let me show you the other two books before I do that. The next book I'm going to read is Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. Uh, I heard weird things about this one. Uh, it's got like lucid dreaming as a part of it, and um, it's like a weird like love triangle or something like that. This woman becomes a secretary guy who she met in a bar and slept with, and then she becomes friends with this woman who then finds out that this woman is her boss's wife. So she like joins this weird like circle or like triangle of friends or lovers or something like that. It was really weird by what I had heard. So I'm going to read this one after the first one and I'm very excited for this one uh, just because I've heard uh, some solid things about this. So there you have Behind Her Eyes. The third and final book I'm going to read is The Kind Worth Killing uh, by Peter Swanson. This is a book that Danielle has wanted me to read for a very long time and I am finally going to read it because it's got a really good twist on it uh, and I'm just want to get it over with so Danielle can stop telling me to read the dang book so I'm gonna read it finally this is gonna be the last one we read and uh, yeah so we're gonna jump into the silent patient first and uh, we'll see you guys in the next clip so before I start the silent patient you're going to see a clip of me attempting to eat what's called the last dab uh, which if you've seen Hot Ones, that's like the hottest sauce at the end, like that everyone does. Um, I got a couple of friends coming over, I got some friends from work, and then my good friend Michael is coming over. Um, and we're going to just kind of just chow down on some wings, and then after that I'm going to start the silent patient. Hopefully if I survive this wing thing. So, we'll see how that goes. So, uh, you'll see that clip first, and then I'm going to jump right into the silent patient. So... Let's get this thing started. Okay, so eat it. Okay. You've already been numbed a little bit by the other thing, so it's as intense as it would be. Five, four, three, two, one. He's still chewing this, though. It's not going to hit right away. How's your tongue feel? I don't even know if I have one. <laughs> <laughs> seen you look so determined. That's how I like when I install my floors around. Huh? What? What? Ooh, wow. Are you alive? <laughs> uh-uh. Nice. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm, my tongue's coming back to life. Yeah. It's like nice 10 minutes. It, it's a little bit like 10 minutes. It, it's actually the, uh, the capsaicin. <laughs> wow. It feels like somebody just stapled my tongue. <laughs> Do you want some milk? The milk right there. I've got milk. <laughs> oh, good. <clears throat> Holy shit. Don't breathe. This is great content for the vlog. Don't breathe? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just die. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> breathe through your nose. Breathe through your nose. <laughs> oh, that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, guys. Uh, so I've been really into the book, and I have not uh, stopped to do an update yet. Um, but I am on page 173 currently in The Silent Patient, and it is a really solid book so far. Uh, I will say that there's some narratives between, because you, <clears throat> you go from Dr. Theo's perspective. Uh, he's got, like, two separate ones, though. He's got, like, a past one of him with, like, his, him finding out, like, his wife's cheating on him and, like, all that crap. And then, then you go to him now where he's being a psychiatrist trying to get Alicia, the silent patient, to try and talk. And she's somebody who, like, used to paint all the time and would want her husband, Gabriel, which another point of view in the book is, like, her diary entries. Uh, and she's trying to get, you know, she wants to paint her husband. He keeps being, like, a douche about it. Finally, he gives in, and then there's, at one point, there's a scene where it's taking, like, too long. He starts cramping, and instead he just wants to, like, have sex. So they stop, they do it, and then... The diary entry ends. Then you go back into Theo with, like, his, like, marriage kind of going in shambles and crumbling. And it's interesting perspectives by what I've seen, by what I'm getting so far. Uh, however, the latest diary entry from Alicia is uh, she mentions another guy, uh, Gene Felix. And I guess that he has got, like, a crush on her. It's, like, some kind of, like, love interest between the both of them. And Gabriel's, like, warning her, like, you need to stay away from that dude. He's got a crush on you. He loves you. And so it took me up until around this page to finally have some sort of guess as to what might happen. Um, because uh, when Theo ends up getting her to finally paint, uh, the first picture she draws freely, because the doctors are telling her, telling him, like, you know, she's in a class where she draws, and, you know, everyone draws the same thing, and he goes, well, why don't you just let her draw freely, let her draw what she wants, and see if that opens up something that's been hidden in her. And so when Theo brings that idea to her, she smiles for the first time in, like, years, and then she draws a picture of a house on fire and two people, like, running away, and one of them is a redhead, which is what Alicia is, and the other one was another guy. And so my first thought is, at some point, her and uh, Fel Jean Felix were going to leave Gabriel, burn the house down, and make it look like a suicide attempt. And they were going to get away jack-free, but then something went wrong. Gabriel ended up getting shot. Jean Felix is gone. He's out of the picture. And she is in utter shock about something, and she hasn't been able to talk for this long. I think that's, like, my prediction. And that's the only thing I've got up until this point is that. So, uh, we've got a little under half of the book left. I'm probably just going to finish it because I'm, like, really intrigued with this and want to get to it. As of right now, if my prediction is correct, I would probably give it about four stars. Uh, maybe four and a half. But... We'll see what happens. So uh, we're going to finish this book. We're going to hop into the next one. And then uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Bill, you want to go out in the snow? Alright guys, I'm on page 287 of The Silent Patient. I know I said that I was going to finish the book before I did my last clip or next clip, whatever. Um, 
but I feel like I've learned some information that is going to give me a, a new guess as to what happens in the book. Uh, I am also listening to it on Scribd, on audiobook, so it's very entertaining. Uh, my new prediction, uh, Alicia finally started talking, and what she said, she described what happened the night of the murder. A faceless man came in, held her hostage until her husband came home, Gabriel. He came home, the man shot him six times in the face. Uh, and then left. So uh, Theo is saying that, well, there was only five shots fired at, you know, at, at him. The sixth one actually was up in the ceiling. That's what the report said. My theory going to connect with what Theo has been saying about his wife is Theo, it, it, I feel like it's going to have like a Shutter Island kind of effect where Theo is actually also a patient and is being told to try and uncover this truth. And he actually is the faceless man who shot the Gabriel because Gabriel was the man who was sleeping with his wife, Catherine. I think that's what her name is. Um, but that is my prediction. Gabriel, Gabriel is the guy who is sleeping with Catherine, who is like big lover boy, whatever, on like her emails. And so he tracks the guy down, finds him at home, Finds his wife, which is actually Alicia. He just can't fucking remember what she looks like. And kills Gabriel, leaves her alive. And after all this time, he actually ends up being like the psychiatrist to see her to try and uncover the truth. But the reality is everybody already knows the truth. And they're just like letting him play his game. And I've got a strange feeling that that is what happened. And I'm, like, really adamant about this. And, like, I really think that's what the truth is. Because I guess this has got, like, a super big twist at the end. And I feel like that's the only, like, twist that there can be. It's, that Gabriel's the murderer? No, that Theo, the psychiatrist who's helping oh. Alicia, is the murderer. Gabriel's okay. dead. He he got shot in the face. <laughs> his, his foch is gone. Um, but I strongly believe that Theo is the actual murderer and they're just like playing this game alicia is like also an actress like like catherine and she's been playing this flipping act this entire time oh my goodness i like i like said all this crap and now like i'm really hoping i'm right because if i'm not then like i just talked a lot of bullshit eek um but yes 287 page 287 i'm making the prediction theo's the murderer Killed Gabriel, who is the guy who is cheating on Alicia with Theo's wife, uh, Catherine. I keep calling her Cat. We're just going to call her Catherine. Don't even know if that's right or not. So that is my prediction. The guy who Catherine was cheating on, or the guy who Catherine was cheating with was Gabriel, which is Alicia's wife. Theo, the psychiatrist, found the man, killed him, and that, that, uh, that has to be what it is. If it's not, then I'm, I'm going to be a silent patient myself. I'm not going to talk. <laughs> I'm going to fill my last clip with my mouth shut and my eyes like... Uh, I've got about 33 minutes left. Oh, that like has to be the twist. I don't know what else the twist can be. I also don't remember like any of the other doctors' names in this place because they're all like really weird names and I can't remember them. So, sorry. It's got to be Theo. Theo's the killer. I'll, uh, you know, uh, I'll see at the end of this. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So I just finished The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. I believe I said that right. Um, I will say that the book had the major twists that I was kind of expecting. I will not tell you. I had that big prediction, the last clip, about what I thought was going to happen with the book. And... So I'd love to tell you guys I was right or wrong, but that would be kind of spoiling it. Just know I felt good with myself. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, it's a really good book. Uh, kind of towards the last like 50, 75 pages, uh, because of my prediction, it kind of just like made sense as to what it, it, it. I'm like trying not to spoil the book for you guys. 
uh, just know it's a really solid read and that it's towards the end, it's kind of predictable. If I was able to figure it out, I feel like you guys can figure it out too. Um, but yes, otherwise I really enjoyed it. I would give it probably four, I'd say probably 4.25. I don't think it really cracks four and a half, um, but it is more solid than four. So four and a quarter, uh, highly recommend this book. Again, this was the first book in this uh, reading thrillers with big twists and uh, I will say this one had a pretty decent twist, but I, I, like I said, it was kind of predictable towards the end. The next one up is going to be, okay, she's going to be part of this now. Oh, there she is. Hello, baby. The next book is going to be Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. I believe I said that right. I've got Bailey up in here. She says hello. Uh, so, ugh. I did already start this. I'm up to chapter 29, which I forget which page that is. I have my bookmark set at a different page, so I'm going to sit here and uh, sift through this. So far, it's uh, been pretty solid. Pretty much been about like this love triangle. Uh, we follow a single mom named Luis, uh, who joins this like... Um, what is this? This is the uh, she becomes a secretary for a guy, uh, and his name is David. And he they actually meet at a bar and like hook up before she starts working there. And then she starts working there and then realizes that she's married, that he is married, and she's a single mother, so she's divorced. And then she finds out she hangs out with this woman at some point as well named Adele and then you find out that Adele and David are married and then you find out that Adele is aware of Louis, Louis Lo, Lois and like knows that David is cheating on her with Lo, her friend Lois and like she's like planning to get out of the marriage with it and it's really weird um I'm liking it so far I'm anxious to know what other twists are going to come in the book, because uh, so far the ones that have come have been pretty solid. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm really enjoying it. Uh, this is book two of this thing that we're doing here, reading uh, big twist thrillers. So, so far I'm enjoying this these type of books and these kinds of reads. Uh, just got to finish this one off, and then we're going to have one more after this one. So I'll see you at the end of this book, and we'll jump into the last one. So we'll uh, see you in a minute. All right, so I just finished Behind Her Eyes and holy crap, this has got so many turns. Uh, I literally cannot tell you anything about the last like 70 pages because of how many flipping turns there are. Uh, I'm giving this four and a half stars. I just can't, I, I don't know, I just can't put it at five because there are things that happen towards the end that I just, I think it's like an odd thing to add into the book, but like it makes sense for how the twists happen. Um, I, oh, I wish I could tell you more about this, but I like literally cannot. Otherwise it's going to like ruin the book. Um, it was a really good book. As soon as I finished it, I just like kind of sat here and was like, holy crap, there's a lot of twists and there are. So be ready for there to be a crap ton of, twists towards the like last like 50 70 pages of this book uh it's a very solid book though i will give it that but there's a lot of things you don't expect there's it, it's there's so many twists the last like chapter is just like what the hell i, uh, I like this book read this book it's a really solid book and now we're gonna get into the third and final book of this uh, little reading blog so uh let me introduce you to that book The last book is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. Uh, this one I hear is another good one. This is one Danielle's been wanting me to read for probably a year now. And I'm finally going to give it a read. And uh, then I can say, hon, you can stop pushing this book on me. I read it. So uh, I hear this has got some decent twists too. We're going to get this started. And uh, we'll see you guys, uh, see you guys later. <laughs>
guys, so I'm on page 143 of The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. And I gotta say, this is so far pretty interesting, uh, very intriguing. Uh, you kind of get a lot of backstory between the two of them. So far, it's been told in two different perspectives. Lily, uh, when she was younger, before meeting Ted, and then Ted's current story. We ended off on um, part one with uh, Brad, which is the carpenter that's sleeping with Ted's wife. Uh, shows up at Ted's door with a gun, and the last thing you hear is he uh, pulled the trigger, and then part two starts. So I don't know if he got shot. I, I really don't know. I'm going to start part two here in a minute. So far, I'd honestly be giving this book probably about four and a half stars, uh, just because of how good the story is, and I'm really enthralled with it, and I'm really getting into it. So... We're going to keep going with this. We're going to try and finish it today. There's Bailey trying to take a little cat nap, dog nap, whatever. Uh, yeah, so we're going to continue part two. I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. It's on page 233 of The Kind Worth Killing. And I got to say, uh, after part one had ended, this was a really upsetting and depressing thing. Because somebody who I liked in the book ended up biting the bullet, and I was really upset. And then, uh, there is, it's, I'm not like done with part two. Part two is the end of the book. Uh, but I decided to do a pause here because I'm not going to have that much left. And somebody turned like their allegiance. Uh, so as of right now, the team's kind of going into this last little section I was just in was Brad and Miranda or Faith which you find out that Miranda was actually Faith which was the girl who was the roommate of Lily at the beginning of the book and I thought that was pretty interesting of a twist to put in there and then the other team which was Ted and Lily was down to just one of them and somebody changed their uh, team uh, this last chapter I just finished so now I got no idea what the hell is going to happen this is like the third or fourth twist that's happened in this book and I guess there's an even bigger one towards the end so I don't know what the hell is going to happen so I don't know who's going to end up completely biting the bullet and dying here I don't know I, I, I don't know I'm confused I will say at the beginning before part one had ended this was about a five star read uh, four and a half stars, and then one of the people ended up dying, and I was really mad, and I literally told Danielle, I said this book just, like, dropped down to a three star, because I was really upset, but now that this change has happened, I got no idea what the hell my star rating's gonna be, because this book is throwing me for a loop every five sentences, so, I don't know, we'll, uh, finish this book, and then, uh, we'll get into the next one, so we'll see you guys in the, at the end of this one. So I just finished The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson, and this had a lot of twists in it, uh, which is why I read it for this video, obviously. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good story, and I will say the only like disappointing thing was the, the death I didn't want to have happen. I'm not going to say who. It did happen earlier in the book, which was kind of disappointing. I think it was the end of part one that led into part two. Uh, there actually was three parts in this book, and literally my last update, there's one chapter until part three, so that was kind of like a big bummer, um, but whatever. Uh, yeah, it had lots of twists, 
I really enjoyed the whole plot of the one person's wife ended up being a, a previous character in the story. Uh, you kind of didn't expect that to happen. It, I, it had really good twists, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, however, just with the one person's death earlier in the book, I really just, like, was upset about it because I really wanted that person to get what that person wanted. And it was kind of really disappointing to see that not come true. And it kind of just, like, it, it, it really annoyed me. And so... For that purpose, I'm not going to really give this like five stars, four and a half. I'm probably going to give it four. I'd have to give it four just because of the reasons I just said. I'm just upset about that person's demise and that they couldn't follow through with what they're, they were going to do. I can see why it's a popular book because, uh, like I said, it's got plenty of twists. And, it, I mean, it ended up kind of working out in the end uh, for one character. And, I don't know, it's a really good book, uh, I do highly recommend it, just be ready for a lot of twists, and if you like one character, like I did, be ready to be disappointed with what happens with that person, so, yeah, there you have the kind worth killing. Alright guys, I'm about to be heading off to work here in a minute, I uh, just wanted to end this video because I finished all three books, uh, I really enjoyed all three of them. As you saw, I gave them all pretty solid ratings. Uh, my favorite has probably got to be Behind Her Eyes. Um, obviously because it got four and a half stars, but I just really love that book. So, thank you so much for watching. What are some other thrillers that you know that have got really big twists that are not these three? Let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.